Once upon a time, there was this stunning village by a serene river. In that village dwelled a young lad named Michael, kind-hearted, naive, and easily tricked. He happened to be the only child of his parents, believe it or not. Even a ten-year-old could easily pull the wool over his eyes. Michael was a guy with ambitious dreams and fierce determination to make them happen, no matter what. He knew there would be challenges along the way, but he was ready to face them head-on. Unfortunately, his life was cluttered with toxic individuals who were hellbent on holding him back from achieving anything meaningful. Michael quickly came to the realization that some individuals in his life were consistently hindering his progress towards his dreams. These toxic people, which unfortunately included friends, relatives, and even neighbors, had a knack for criticizing, belittling, and discouraging him. It seemed their envy overshadowed any genuine support they could offer. At first, Michael attempted to brush off these toxic individuals and stay focused on his goals. However, their negativity eventually took a toll on his confidence and drive. Doubts started creeping in, making him question his own capabilities. It became clear to him that these toxic people were dragging him down, and he realized he needed to take action. Michael finally had enough of the toxic people in his life and decided to take a stand. He confronted them head on, telling them how their negativity was affecting him and that he couldn't handle it anymore. Some of them felt sorry and apologized, but others stubbornly clung to their toxic ways. Michael knew it wouldn't be a walk in the park to cut ties with these people, but he realized it was essential for his own happiness and success. From that point forward, he actively sought out positive and supportive individuals who could lift him up on his journey towards achieving greatness. One day, Michael was chilling under a huge tree by the lovely village pond when a couple of his so-called friends, who had hit the jackpot in life, approached him. They started interrogating him about his future plans and what he had achieved so far. Michael chose to keep mum because deep down, he knew these guys were just pretending to be friends while secretly wishing him ill. It stung a bit, but Michael decided not to give them the satisfaction of sharing his goals with them. Michael was starting to feel unsure about his dreams and goals, so he decided it might be helpful to seek guidance from a wise Buddhist monk. He hoped this monk could provide the support he needed to navigate through life's challenges. Interestingly, one of his close friends had spoken highly of this particular monk. In a serene monastery, tucked away in the valleys, lived a Buddhist monk with his devoted disciples. This wise old monk was famous for his guidance, wisdom, and vast knowledge. After enduring a challenging journey, Michael finally arrived at the monastery. Upon arrival, he witnessed the monk selflessly assisting people burdened by life's troubles and hardships, showing utmost respect. Michael bowed before the monk and took a seat beside him. When it was finally Michael's turn, he poured out his frustrations to the monk. Sir, no matter where I go, people are constantly taunting me, discouraging me, and disrespecting me, he lamented. The monk listened attentively before offering a gentle smile. Michael, he said calmly, when others begin to feel jealous or inferior around you, they often resort to belittling and speaking ill of you. When others envy and criticize you because they see you succeeding, it might give you a little satisfaction. Deep down, it's a sign that you're ahead of them in the game of life. But let's focus on how to deal with these bothersome individuals. The monk shared some wisdom with Michael about dealing with toxic people. He mentioned that many people struggle with this issue, as toxic individuals can be negative, rude, mean, or dishonest. Their goal is to bring others down and cause harm through their words and actions, which can lead to stress and unhappiness in the lives of those around them. To help Michael live a more peaceful life, the monk then proceeded to share three effective ways to keep toxic people at bay. The top way to get rid of toxic individuals is simple. Don't give them your full attention. They'll try to bring you down with their negativity, but don't let it affect you. To live a peaceful life devoid of toxicity, focus all your energy on pursuing your goals and don't let anything divert your attention from them. Hey Michael, here's a simple truth. Focus on what truly matters to you and what you can actually control. 
when we dedicate our attention to our work and priorities, all the unnecessary drama around us becomes irrelevant. We don't have time to dwell on the mistakes of others or let toxic people drag us down. Remember, wherever you go, there will always be negative folks trying to bring you down. Stay focused and rise above it. Once the monk finished teaching Michael his first lesson, he moved on to reveal the second top-notch tip for dealing with toxic and unsympathetic individuals. Listen up, Michael. Whenever you come across toxic people, the best thing you can do is not engage with them. That's our ultimate comeback. Instead, focus on what's beneficial for you both in the present and in shaping your future. The more you listen to these people, the more you'll stress yourself out and damage your inner peace. That's why it's crucial to build strength from within and be prepared for encountering toxic individuals. They've always been toxic and they'll continue to be toxic towards you. You don't owe any space in your life to those who bring pain, suffering, or make you feel inferior. Don't waste your energy on people who bring you down, make you feel broken, and constantly disrespect your feelings, Michael. It's not worth making space for them in your life. You're good to them when you work for them. But once you're done helping out, they conveniently forget all the ways you supported them. These types of individuals take advantage of others' kindness and never bother to check in or care about their well-being. Honestly, some people are just not nice. They're selfish and mean right from the start. That's why it's best to steer clear of these toxic individuals as much as you can. Their negative energy not only affects them, but also spreads to others through their actions. So it's better to distance yourself from such negativity whenever possible. With his wise words and three valuable lessons on dealing with toxic people, the monk wrapped up his message and resumed his meditation. Michael, grateful for the guidance and spiritual support, expressed his gratitude to the monk. After respectfully bowing down, he left the presence of the monk. When Michael came across negative or toxic people, he had a simple strategy. Ignore them. He didn't waste his time pondering over what they were saying, whether positive or negative. Instead, he focused on surrounding himself with positive influences and taking charge of his relationships. This approach allowed him to overcome obstacles and conquer the goals he had set for himself. As we wrap up this Zen journey, I'd like to invite you to join our community. If you found this story inspiring, show your support by hitting that like button, sharing it with your friends, and dropping a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for stories you'd love to hear next. And if you want more doses of motivation and tranquility, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Your engagement keeps us going on this path of wisdom and enlightenment. Thank you for being a part of our journey.